Well, it's about time for another episode, and timing is what we're talking about today. So what does time have to do with the central office? Well, it has a lot to do with it. It keeps all the equipment in sync using a common time signal derived from all this equipment right here. And what is this equipment? Well, let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's first go ahead and check out what pieces of equipment in this central office needs a time signal. Fiber rings over here that control uh, different customers. We have our workhorse 5 ESS that spans multiple bays. And we have our T3 channel banks here. All this equipment in our central office. So what does time have to do with it? it has to do with a lot. Can you imagine trying to sync up all this equipment, our voicemail, to our 5E, to our T3s, and our fiber rings, all synced up into one system? That'd be pretty impossible to have each one to have its own internal clock. So now you've seen all that equipment that needs a signal, here's how it works. Starting at the top here, this is the primary reference source. This gets its signal from an antenna on the roof of the building, and that brings in a GPS signal from a satellite in space down to all this equipment here. And yes, it is the same GPS that you have on your phone right now, or in your car, or whatever, that gets a signal to tell you where to go. Well, there's a time signal in that too. And that signal is what we use to process into all this equipment here, that sends it out to the equipment in the central office. The reference then sends it to one of the digital clock distributors. There's two of them here. One's the primary, which is this one. This is the secondary as a backup in case we lose the primary. And then from there, it then frames it and sends it to our equipment. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of this thing. So here is the back of our bay. We have the primary reference source to get up here, and then the two clocks down here. As we can see, this is our GPS antenna from the roof. It goes into its antenna port. And then we have the power for the primary reference source, and then the signal out cables. We'll have two of them. Uh, one going this side, one going this side. It's the red cables, so keep that in mind. Moving down to here to our DCD. Here are the two clock cables coming in. Here's one side, here's the other side. And then these up here are all the outputs. This is what goes to the actual equipment to feed its time signal. And it's just kind of like a telephone line. You have tip and ring on a telephone and then a signal. So we have ring, tip, and then signaling. And so it's three wires that are fed along a serial cable that connect to a serial port on our equipment. Same thing with this guy down here. So let's go ahead and check out one of those pieces of equipment. So here we are at our equipment. This is the FT2000. This is our fiber ring unit. And up here is the low speed shelf and below it be the high speed shelf so it actually contain the fibers for the rings. But if you look right here, it says that this is the primary timing input is on J85A and it's going to be going to relay rack 010110 so we'll talk about that in a second let's go ahead and look inside this thing and show you what the serial port looks like put it up here so it doesn't fall on us again so here's port J858 and here's the serial cable coming in from it from that digital clock distributor it just runs throughout the CO and and all the racks above us, and then it winds up here, and that's what gives this thing its timing signal. Okay, so back outside, if we wanted to figure out where this got its timing from in the central office, we would use this location right here. So we just talked about this a second ago. RR stands for relay rack 010110.04. What this stands for is, it's gonna be located on the first floor, or be 02 for the second floor, or be 00, zero or negative 01 for basements. This says it's gonna be in lineup or aisle one in the 10th bay 
and it's the fourth piece of equipment on the shelf. So let's go look for dot oh one, dot oh one, dot ten, dot oh oh four. So looking at our bays right here, usually they're labeled on the columns right here with the actual lineup number, but this is a small CO, so I, I guess they didn't want to do that. So this would be the first aisle, and then going that way would be the second aisle, third aisle, and then so on and so forth. So we're going to start right here. Here is .01.01.01. This is the first one. So we're going to look for the tenth piece of equipment. All right, so we are now at the tenth piece of equipment, the .01.01.10. Again, the 01 is the floor, the 01 is the aisle, and it's going to be the tenth bay or the tenth rack. And remember it said uh, 004, so that was the fourth shelf for the fourth piece of equipment. So the fuse panel is one, the primary reference source is two, the DCD is three, and this is DCD four. So this is the fourth piece of equipment. So that tells me that that piece of equipment came from there. And I believe it said it was on the card nine which is right here. So here's our card nine. So this card right here is serving those serial ports out to that piece of equipment. And so again on the back, it would come into here and that's how it got its timing signal. So that is timing in a central office. A very basic overview, but just a quick tour for you guys and hope you liked it. And if you liked that video, go and check out some of our other videos that we have. I'm sure you'll like them too. Until next time, this is FDR Tech saying thank you for watching.